Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a tutorial on this eyeshadow look that you see right here. I used the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Mini Controversy Palette. I did pick this up in stores at my local Morphe store, which is three hours away. And then I ordered the Conspiracy Palette online. That one should be here within like 12 days. So as soon as I get it, I will do a dedicated video on that as well and do a makeup look. Um, but this is the palette here. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I am obsessed with everything that they did, everything that they came out with, the way that they went about doing it with the whole video series and everything. I'm just so impressed and proud of Shane and everything that he's doing right now. I think we all are. And Jeffrey has one of the best eyeshadow formulas out there. So this collaboration was just perfect. I'm so excited and everything that they came out with is just really inspiring to me from the packaging to the color selection, everything. So this is the look I came up with. I really love how it turned out. It definitely made me step outside of my comfort zone and I'm obsessed with the look. So I hope you guys are too. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Please subscribe and let's get started. All right, I'm first going to go into Painterly Paint Pot from MAC and prime my eyes. I'm just gonna grab some H104 powder and set the eyes. And then the under eyes are set with powder as well, so if I do get any fallout, I can just dust that away and I'll be fine. So I really wanna do a cut crease. I feel like it's been a minute since I've done a cut crease. I'm excited. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is Exposed. This is this kind of like a dusty pinky purpley shade. And I'm gonna use a Smith 232 brush. And I'm gonna work this into the crease. All right, this is already such a pretty color. When I swatch it, I didn't want to swatch too hard because I didn't want to get rid of the imprint. This is going on a lot differently than I thought it was going to go on. It's a lot more, a little bit darker than I was thinking. And it's, oh, it's more like a lavender. I love it. I thought this was going to be more of like a highlight shade, but ooh, this is very, very beautiful. I'm going to bring it underneath. So I'm going to bring my mirror above me and look up into it so I can access the lower lash line more easily and it won't make me blink and won't irritate my eyes. And I'm holding like midway down on my brush. That way I don't apply too much pressure and then connect it out here like so. Okay, this for spring would be beautiful. Just like a, you know? And I'm starting very light. You can see this is kind of like what one layer looks like. And then when you add more layers and more dimension, it ends up looking like this. Now I'm gonna go into Controversy, which is the bright purple shade. I'm gonna go into a Smith 230, which is a little bit smaller, but also still fluffy. I'm gonna focus this more closely into the crease and the outer corner. And my mirror is below me so I can look down and see the full eyelid space area. Then bring my mirror up, look up, and pop this on the bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna jump over into that first brush with a little bit of the exposed shade on it and use that to blend this out a little bit. So you get that nice gradual fade. I really wanna stop the look right here just cause I love the way it looks so much just with those two shades, but I feel like there's so many beautiful shades in here. I have to utilize the palette. What is so pretty? I'm gonna go into the Anastasia eye primer and I'm gonna cut the lid. I'm gonna use a flat concealer brush. And then with a 239 brush from MAC, I'm gonna, fuck me. I'm gonna grab Flat Earth and I'm really, really packing it on so you can see that light blue shade. I'm gonna grab this E06 brush from Sigma. It's like a teeny, teeny, tiny little angled brush. I'm gonna go back into Controversy and very carefully, I'm gonna use my pinky as a balance point on another part of my face, but I'm gonna go right at that line and deepen it so there's this like harsh purple right at the edge. So put this here and go for it. And I'm making sure I'm looking down into the mirror so I can really access that area. And then flick up into the crease. Right now I'm just blending these two together here. So on the other side of this 239 brush from MAC, I'm gonna go into the simulation 
which is this shimmery blue down here. I'm gonna pat it here on the outer corner. Go back in with some of that purple controversy shade and blend out the simulation shade. Kind of gonna layer them together. I'm adding a little bit of exposed here too and then just switching through my brushes and kind of getting this nice gradual fade on the lid here. Mm -hmm. All right, right now on the bottom lash line, I'm just bringing Controversy on an E15 from Sigma. Just getting it really precise there to the lashes. And then blend it out. I'm gonna go into the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner in Polished White and bring this in my waterline. And now I'm probably gonna regret this because it's gonna burn a little bit, but I want to grab the flat earth shade and put that on top of the white to give that blue. Oh yeah, that's badass. So it was very subtle, but um, I think it really ties everything together. All right, I'm gonna go into my boyfriend's purse with my finger. Just tap that on the inner corner at a highlight. Pop a little bit up here on the brow. Just subtle, I didn't want, I didn't apply too much. I didn't pack it on with a brush or anything. Um, I really love using my fingers to apply the highlight on the eyes. I just think it goes on very, just subtle. <sighs> I'm loving this. I really, really, really love this look. I'm so happy with the eyes. I love an all matte eye. Just gives me the feels. I'm gonna use the uh, MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. Right now I'm applying these lashes from Velour. They're the Here to Slay lashes. I really need to find another pair of lashes that I love because I only wear these. <laughs> and then I'm gonna apply the mascara onto the bottom lashes. This is the final look. I love this. I was not expecting it to come out looking like this. I had no idea what I was even gonna do when I sat down. I was actually thinking of just doing a look with um, my apology all over my lid, which I still wanna do. But I'm glad that I stepped out of my comfort zone and did something very different. And I fucks with it. I love it. I keep like not even looking at the camera. I'm looking at the viewfinder. All right, you guys, that completes everything for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed following along, and I hope you liked the way that the look turned out. I'm really happy with it. I love these colors together. It's really, really inspiring me. This entire collection, let me just say, I am a very neutral girl, and there have been so many like super overly colorful palettes that have been launching recently. I think because everybody is so sick of just neutral palettes. I'm not, I could still buy 80 more neutral palettes and be a happy camper. Um, but there's something about this collection that is so interesting. The color choices really inspire me and get me excited. Like the artist inside of me is really excited. It inspires me to create different looks that I normally wouldn't like this. Lately, there have been so many different colorful palettes coming out that it's almost too much, if that makes sense, that I'm overwhelmed and I can't think of anything. What they have come out with here is very different. It's got a mix of colors and neutrals, but it inspires me to create more looks. I cannot wait to play with the Conspiracy palette. The packaging on that is just, mm, love it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you end up recreating it, please tag me on Instagram. Uh, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye.